joined by general manager John Robinson. Got to jump right in on these Baltimore Ravens. Mike Vrabel said earlier this week that NFL teams run bits and pieces of offense like what Baltimore is doing now. So what I want to know, though, is Baltimore is all in on this offense, spreading it out, running option. What is it about the Baltimore attack that makes them so difficult to defend? Well, they've got a lot of good players, one, starting with the quarterback. And, you know, I think the unique thing that they do is they do a lot of shifts. They do a lot of motions. It ends up being a zone scheme or, or a power scheme, but it's all, of, it's all of the window dressing at the start of the play that makes you think defensively about, oh, what are they doing this? And, and you start guessing. At the end of the day, for us, it's going to come down to standing up the blocks, one of the line of scrimmage and tackling. Why has Lamar Jackson blossomed so much in this offense? Well, he's got such a unique skill set. I mean, um, he's an excellent athlete. He's got excellent arm talent. He's reading coverages. You know, he's had a year in the league now, so he's seeing what teams are trying to do to him. He's so slippery, so elusive, and so fast. His ability to extend plays, you know, even though he gets in trouble, he slips out of something, somebody breaks free and, and, and he chunks it. It's hard for us to believe, those of us who go back to the AFC Central with Baltimore, that we're talking about offense because we've always talked about Baltimore's defense. And Wink Martindale, their defensive coordinator, has another good unit, one of the best in the league against the run. Why have they been so good against the run this year? Well, I mean, they've got some hosses in that in that front seven. You know, it starts with Judon, an outside linebacker. Uh, I think he's a pro bowler. I mean, he's he's a really explosive player. He affects a lot of plays, both against the run and the pass. Their backers, Bynes, he's instinctive. He's a heavy tackler. And they do a lot of blitzing, you know, so it's going to be a tall test for us. In the secondary, they have two pro bowlers, Marlon Humphrey and also Marcus Peters, who they obtained mid-year from the Rams. Why are those guys so effective in the secondary at the corner position? Well, I think they're both really good at, at what they do. They're different style players. Uh, Marcus Peters is an extremely gifted cover guy. He's got excellent feet. He's got excellent hips. He can match and man and, and run with his speed is outstanding. Really good ball skills. He tracks the ball well, catches the ball well. Humphreys is a little bit bigger corner. He's a longer player. He's really disruptive at the line of scrimmage. He's going to fight you down the field, and you're going to have to really work to get open against him just from a physicality standpoint. So both of those guys are, are playing really, really good football. Baltimore 14-2. and two. They haven't lost since September the 29th, but this is the postseason. Anything can happen. How do the Titans go to Baltimore and win Saturday night? Well, I think, you know, on both sides of the ball, we've got to control the line of scrimmage. It starts up front with those guys. We've got to do a good job defensively of standing up to their line, which is a really, really good line. Uh, we've got to win the line of scrimmage on both sides. We've got to control the football. You know, we've got to, they're number one in time of possession, which is also means they're number one in scoring. They score a lot of points because they keep the ball longer than anybody. So we've got to do the opposite on offense. We've got to keep the ball, convert on third down, score in the red zone. And we got to do a really good job of tackling and just being aware of those exotics and, and explosive plays that are potentially there against our defense and, and, and not allow those to happen.